Sister Wives. Cody Brown claims family birthday never been forgotten. And Christine Brown has a teachable moment with grandkids. How fans can support Janelle after Garrison's death, her business ventures and money problems explained. And Cody Brown's profound advice on grief resurfaces after Garrison's death. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. Sister Wives star Cody Brown once claimed that the family has never missed a birthday. Perhaps that was true back in the show's earliest seasons, but fans know that's no longer the case. As time goes on, the family seems more fractured than ever before. Birthdays seem to come and go without much acknowledgement from the family patriarch. At least, not that the public can see. Now, Redditors have come across an old clip from season 2 that certainly did not age well. Get the scoop and see what others are saying online. Cody Brown was once a doting father. Sister Wives fans soured on Cody Brown long ago. However, many remember his behavior from the first few seasons of the show. He always had his problems, but he once seemed like a loving, doting father. At some point, that all seemed to change. Didn't age well. A Redditor shared online this week, uploading an old clip of Cody Brown from Season 2. In the short video, he claims the family has never missed a birthday. Of course, fans who caught the most recent seasons of Sister Wives readily agreed. Cody Brown forgot his son Gabriel's birthday, which was a major storyline. In one episode, Gabe tearfully described in a confessional how painful it was to realize Cody didn't remember his birthday. When the episode aired, Sister Wives fans condemned Cody for the move and gave an outpouring of compassion and sympathy for Gabe. Other Redditors wrote, He's right. The birthday wasn't forgotten. Some remembered and some blew it off and couldn't be bothered. This man is disgusting. The entire country knows it. His entire family knows it. Robin even knows it. She just doesn't ever want to work and thinks she can rehab his image. They live in a bubble. He's such a FK. Good thing he had the help of the other wives to remind him. Of course, Sister Wives fans are incredibly displeased with how Cody Brown treated his sons Gabriel and Garrison over the past few years. Socially isolating the boys during the pandemic and forgetting. Gabe's birthday was awful enough. But as many Sister Wives fans now know, Gabe Brown was the one who discovered Garrison's body after he took his own life. In the weeks following Garrison's death, Fans have been incredibly concerned for Gabriel's health and mental well-being. Fortunately, Janelle Brown is an excellent mother and is likely watching over her children closely right now. Christine Brown considers all the Brown family grandchildren to be her own. And after marrying David Woolley, she has many step-grandchildren to be proud of. But biologically, she is currently only a grandmother of three. Her daughter McKelty Brown Padron has a three-year-old daughter, Avalon, and one-year-old twin boys, Ace and Archer. Being a grandmother is one of the biggest joys in Christine Brown's life. Recently, she had a very teachable, yet adorable, moment with McKelty's kids. As a dedicated grandmother, Christine Brown always wants to make sure her kids and grandkids know how to stay safe. Playing and having fun is important, but safety is essential too. And that's precisely why she thought it was time to teach McKelty's kids about sharks. Avalon shot these pictures and videos. I was teaching at Mykeltup kids about the sound a shark makes. Obviously they are more afraid of toasters though, the Sister Wives star captioned her Instagram post. She attached several photos of herself carrying around a large stuffed shark. Seasoned Sister Wives fans might remember the toaster comment from the show's first season when Christine explained why it was safer to make toast in the oven. Christine limited comments on the post, but there's no doubt that many Sister Wives fans found it enjoyable and funny. Following Garrison Brown's tragic death, Christine Brown recently shared she was learning to get back into the swing of life. More than likely, that means more time with her kids and grandkids. Now more than ever before, the sister. Wives cast knows how important it is to hold their loved ones close. Garrison wasn't Christine's biological son, but she very much considered him to be one of her own. After his death, she honored him on St. Patrick's Day by cooking his favorite meal. Although the Brown family is forever changed by his loss, 
Fans love seeing the family honor his memory in such wonderful ways. In the days to come, many Sister Wives fans fully expect to see Christine posting more about her beloved. Family members, Avalon's third birthday is on April 5th, so there will also likely be adorable birthday party photos to come. It's anyone's guess what Christine will teach her grandchildren next. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is dealing with grief after the death of her son Garrison, so many are wondering how to support her business ventures. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has gone through a tragedy after losing her son, Garrison Brown, but there are many ways that viewers who want to help can support Janelle through this rough time. While Janelle has been a part of a large plural family for the better part of the last 30 years, she is now more on her own than ever. While she's grieving, Janelle still has to support herself and deal with financial burdens. During Sister Wives season 18, Janelle explained that she was having some financial difficulties, especially after her long marriage with Cody Brown dissolved. Janelle is dealing with a massive loss and, while her family is surely pitching in to keep her safe and sound, her business ventures will also be able to help her through. Throughout Sister Wives run Janelle has dealt with the family finances. Unfortunately, she explained during Sister Wives season 18 that she virtually needed to start over financially because of the money that she had put into Coyote Pass. After Garrison's passing, things will change entirely for Janelle, but those who would like to support her in her business. Ventures should be looking out for certain products and sponsorships. While she hasn't formally announced her new business, Janelle has filed paperwork to prove ownership of a new garden or farm. According to the documentation, Teeta Farms is described as farming services in the form of fields of flowers, meaning Janelle will likely be running a flower and plant adjacent venture. While she's explained that she's getting into a more grounded business, Janelle hasn't spoken up about her new venture just yet. Interestingly enough, Janelle has bonded with her son over their love of gardening in the past, so this will likely give her peace and keep her connected to Garrison. Janelle's new agricultural business may take up more of her time, but it will likely be something fruitful viewers can support once she announces it. Her farm will likely be somewhere that Sister Wives viewers will be able to visit, which will give her the ability to drive in guests and financially support herself. Janelle's new venture may be helping her to grieve and process the major loss of Garrison. While some may caution her from putting her grief into work, Janelle is likely doing the right thing by creating a business venture that will help her to support herself. Janelle's main source of income for the last several years has been promoting Plexus products online. She has created her own LLC with her Plexus business called Strive with Janelle. Plexus, which is a weight loss and health supplement brand, offers an MLM-style business model to its users. The drinks themselves have been featured heavily on Instagram by Janelle as well as Christine and two of their daughters, Maddie and McKelty. Janelle has shared that the Plexus products have helped her to lose weight in the past few years, and have helped her to maintain her overall health. As a representative of the company, Janelle has been able to get some incredible experience. As an entrepreneur, Janelle's journey with Plexus hasn't been easy, but she has been able to get herself healthier and maintain weight loss throughout some tremendously difficult times. Through her Plexus business model, Janelle is able to interact with various people who are looking for a healthier lifestyle and are interested in the products that she sells. Plexus has had some controversy surrounding the company before, but Janelle has stayed out of the limelight when it comes to the controversial nature of the product line. While Janelle primarily works with Plexus, films Sister Wives, and now is getting her farm up and running, she does have some other business ventures. Though she primarily interacts with her following through her Plexus Facebook group, her Strive with Janelle business does do more than just discuss Plexus and weight loss results. Janelle herself has been able to consult with clients about their health journeys through her business. As an online health coach, having gone through a health and weight loss journey of her own, Janelle was registered as a coach with IIN, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, in 2019. She now works as a health coach with private clients, though she doesn't typically advertise her business publicly. Janelle does have a website where she has shared that her clients have had good results with her coaching. The Sister Wives star seems like the type of coach who would be able to help. Someone with compassion and grace, the way she has appeared on the series for years.
While Strive with Janelle may not be the largest portion of her entrepreneurial puzzle, Janelle appears to enjoy helping people reach their goals and understand the next steps in their health journey. During Sister Wives Season 18, Janelle shared she was having some serious financial issues after her explosive, unexpected split from Cody. Though she had always been the one to maintain the financials. For the Brown family, Janelle explained that she made some difficult decisions, financially to protect herself in the future. She hadn't realized that things would go sour with Cody and invested the majority of her money into the land that they all planned to share as a family. Janelle likely assumed that she'd be able to fall back on her husband if she needed to in the future. Unfortunately after her split from Cody, Janelle needed to get her finances in order and struggled to do so. It is unclear if Janelle is still having extreme financial difficulties, but the businesses that she has set up and the fact that she is moving into a new venture with her farm makes it seem she's doing somewhat better. While her financial situation may be covered in Sister Wives Season 19, it's possible that Janelle won't comment on her finances any further. The Sister Wives star has many ways to financially support herself through even the most difficult of times. In an old cameo video, Cody Brown from Sister Wives shares his advice on coping with grief and how he would handle the loss of a loved one. Sister Wives fans have discovered Cody Brown's old video talking about grief. Cody has faced many challenging incidents in his life. However, losing his 25-year-old son, Robert Garrison Brown, has to be his most painful moment yet. In March 2024, everyone in the Brown family learned they'd lost an important part of their lives. They discovered that Garrison had passed away just a month before his 26th birthday. Cody and Janelle broke the tragic news on their social media. They seemed heartbroken and asked fans to respect their privacy. While Janelle, Christine, and Mary have shared their feelings on social media, Cody has been completely silent. However, there's an old cameo video where Cody discusses how he'd deal with losing a loved one. Cody says, There is nothing that I can say or would be foolish enough to try and say to circumvent your bereavement, stating that no words can fix the pain. Cody adds, The only thing I can say to you is find your bliss and pursue excellence, noting that this is the same advice he gave his sister. Cody then revealed what he would do in a similar situation. If he were to lose a loved one, He'd honor their life by being the greatest person that he could be. Cody concluded his message by restating, Find your bliss, pursue excellence. Those are the only things I got for you. He likely referred to someone who had lost their partner in the cameo video. When Cody talked about finding love again, he encouraged the person to move on from the tragic loss, be a better person, and find happiness. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.